All right, guys, while you all are getting set up, I'll go try to find the owners. Rudy, where's my trailer? Sylvia, I was thinking you wouldn't need the trailer since we're only three blocks from the station. Plus the fact that you spent two hours getting ready before we left. Ready? You don't understand! Being in the public eye every day is so demanding on one's appearance, and I need protection from these harsh winter elements. My hair! It's already going flat, and my lips are getting chapped. I can't work under these conditions. Okay, Sylvia, I'll see what I can do. And that brings us back to where we started. Well, hello there! Excuse me for just a minute. Hello, sir. I'm Rudy Rains with Action News 12. We're here to do a human interest story about your Christmas tree shoe drive. Well, great to meet you, Rudy. My name is Yule Loggins, and what we actually do here is a Christmas shoe tree drive. Hey, everybody! Heavens to Betsy, brother! What in the world? This is just a little something I call styling and profiling. Want to look my best for little Miss Sylvia Bells? This is my brother Todd, I think. Todd? This is Mr. Rudy Rains and Miss Sylvia Bells. Well, lights, camera, action. I'm ready to roll them. I'm sure obliged to meet y'all. Miss Bells, we watch you every night. So I've heard. Rudy, Gloria and I are going to the van until you're ready to start filming. I need to refresh. Great. We'll be ready in a few minutes. I can tell you how it all got started. I don't like to brag, but it was kind of my brainchild. Oh, here we go. Rudy... It's like this. All my life, I've been a barefoot kind of guy. Never cared about wearing shoes. And any time I got a pair from my mama and daddy or anybody else, I'd just give them away. People were always so grateful to get them, and I always felt great giving them. Well, one day, I said to myself, Todd, which is what I call myself, what if you could get other folks to give up their shoes to bless those less fortunate? It was like a million-watt light bulb went off in my head. And when I told you and Carol about it, Well, the rest is history. I recall the good Lord saying to me, Do what you can for those in need, And you'll find the key to being happy. Well, I love Christmas and I love bare feet, So it only makes sense to this country boy. Giving of yourself by giving up your shoes Can help someone else hear the good news. I need more lip gloss. I can totally feel my lips starting to freeze. In three, two, one, action. Hello, people. I'm Sylvia Bells, going where the action is with Action News 12, keeping you up to date and in the know about everything Christmas this season. Today, the action is here at Yule Todd and Carol Loggins' Christmas Tree Farm. But wait! It's not your ordinary old tree farm, for the Loggins have incorporated the spirit of giving, characteristic of this most wonderful time of year, into the very fabric of their business. On the mountains, at the feet of those who bring good news. How beautiful. On the mountains, at the feet of those who bring good news. Good news. Of this is salvation. Good news. God of Israel reigns. Good news. The good news. Yeah. Born in a manger. God's word made flesh. This tree farm has been in our family for many, many years. And when Todd and Carol and I got old enough to start taking over, I began feeling the Lord speaking to me about using it for more than just selling trees. The idea he gave me goes right along with the song we just heard. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. I started thinking about how we could use shoes to help spread the story of Jesus right here at our farm. You know, there are a lot of stories in the Bible that talk about feet and shoes. (laughs) Now, I know that might sound kind of funny, 
But when you think about it, the Lord has a lot to say about that in his word. Can anybody tell me another place in the Bible we read about feet or shoes? One time in Sunday school, we studied the armor of God, and I remember our teacher saying that part of the armor includes the shoes of the gospel of peace. I wasn't really sure what he was talking about, though. That's okay. I think I can help you with that. The verse goes right along with the one I shared. What's your name, son? Joey. Well, Joey, I'm proud of you for being so bold and sharing that with us. The verse you mentioned is Ephesians 6.15, and it talks about getting ready to tell others about Jesus. To get ready, you gotta put on your shoes. The shoes help us carry the good news. The shoes we hang on and all around the tree over there help us carry the good news to every person who comes here to get a pair. I like the story about Jesus washing the disciples' feet. I love that one too, Jill. What a beautiful story about love and humility. You gotta really humble yourself to wash someone's feet. It's a very special way to show someone how much you care about them. And the thing is, the person who gets their feet washed feels just as humbled as the person doing the washing. My dad went on a mission trip to Africa last year and they took shoes to kids in an orphanage. He told me that when they gave them the shoes, he and his team washed the kids' feet before they put the socks and the shoes on them. That is amazing! Thank you for telling us about that, Jill. It's just incredible how the Lord can use anything, even a pair of shoes, to show his great love. At Christmas time, we talk about the shepherds and the wise men all going to visit baby Jesus. They were the first ones to see him and realize who he was. So I'm thinking they must have been the first beautiful feet to share the good news. The good news that Jesus loves us. He showed us by coming to earth, being born in an old stable, traveling all over the place telling folks about the love of God, and then going to that cross for us so that we could have eternal life. I just feel like the most important thing that I can do in my life, in my work, in everything, is to let my feet do what God made them to do. Walk and tell everybody I see about Jesus and his love. And so we found ourselves saying so long to Yule, Todd, Carol, and their Christmas shoe tree for now. But please come by and visit them any time during the Christmas season. You're sure to be overwhelmed by the charm and charisma of the Loggins family. Shoe donations begin today and will continue throughout the holidays. So please feel free to drop off or pick up shoes any time during their hours of operation listed on the screen. I, for one, have felt laced with love, and my soul forever touched by my experience here today. So I have decided to donate my shoes as well. Truly, you can't stop these shoes from sharing the good news. For Action News 12, I am Sylvia Bells. Merry Christmas! And cut. Great job, everybody. That's a wrap. Don't you mean a Christmas wrap?